My next guest is finally going to be making her UFC debut coming up here at UFC Fight Night on February 20th. She's going to be taking on Shauna Dobson. It is Casey O'Neill joining me here on the program. Casey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm really good. Thank you. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for asking. Not everyone asks how I'm doing. Uh, and congratulations. I know uh, there's a lot to, of work to be done in the UFC, but you made the UFC. I know you signed back in October. How excited were you to sign pen to paper and achieve this pretty big milestone in your career? Yeah, I mean, obviously this is what every person in mixed martial arts is looking to do, you know, reach the pinnacle of our sport. It's been like a little bit of a roller coaster journey for me, though, obviously since I signed uh, signing on short notice to fight and then not being able to fight and then having to wait until uh, now to make my debut. But, you know, everything happens for a reason and I'm excited to have got a full camp for my UFC, de- uh, UFC debut. It actually worked out better for me in the long run. So, yeah. Nice. Glad to see it all worked out. What For those who might not know, what was the reason for the delay? Was it like a visa thing or what happened? No, so I actually um, signed on short notice to fight Lauren Murphy on Fight Island and uh, signed the contract, went and got all my tests done and my COVID test actually came back positive. So I ended up not to go and do that fight, but they decided to give me a chance anyway and let me fight at a later date. So yeah. That's good. Okay, well, at least least it worked out and you got your fight anyways. Um, Did you have any bad symptoms with COVID or was just like one of those things where it was like a cold? Because I know everyone uh, gets it differently. No, I didn't really have any symptoms. I actually got the phone call for the fight when I was at the gym. So I obviously was feeling pretty good. You know, I was training, uh, getting ready for a a fight in UAE Warriors anyway. So I was in fight camp and felt great and didn't have any symptoms. And then it was just one of those things that came back positive and I just had to wait it out. Good stuff. I see you're in Vegas. I know I've been following you along on Instagram. Uh, How long have you been there and what prompted that move? Because if I'm not mistaken, you used to be at Tiger Muay Thai, right? Yeah, so I've been here for three months now. I came here because I had a fight on UAE Warriors in September and Thailand was closed. I couldn't get back in. So I decided to just take the chance. I was sick of sitting on the sidelines as most people were last year. So yeah, I ended up fighting for them in September and then just heading straight over here after that. uh, Sort of wait out, hopefully get another opportunity and it ended up coming pretty quick, so... Nice. Good. That's good. How, how are you adjusting to living in Vegas? I know it's a bit different for everyone, right? Yeah, I mean, I like it. It's definitely different to Thailand and uh, uh, what I've been used to for the past three years. But I do enjoy it. And yeah, I'm grateful to be here and the learning from some really cool people that are around here and having access to the US, UFC PI now and stuff. It's It's great. Good stuff. Let's talk about Shauna Dobson, uh, eight fight veteran, of course, coming off a pretty big upset win in her last fight. Uh, what do you know about her? How do you feel like you match up against her here? Yeah, um, I know that she's been around in the UFC for a little while and she's pretty tough. She's had some tough fights. Uh, I know that her boxing's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I think that it's a good matchup for me, you know, stylistically. I think that I just have more ways that I can win that fight. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to go out there and put on a show against her very cool um who are you getting to work with in vegas like in terms of training partners i'm sure you work with some people a little bit more than others yeah so i'm training at extreme couture and uh 10th planet so eddie baracco has sort of been my main coach for this fight which is really cool i love his style uh he's really brought my striking along so fast in three months i never really pictured myself uh sort of striking the way that he does but yeah, I sort of picked up on it really quick, and it's been great. Um, yeah, I got a lot of good partners. Obviously, that room is full of killers day in, day out. So, you could, you know, you don't have any easy rounds, which is a great thing when you're coming up to your hardest fight of your life. You know, you're basically with the best people that you possibly could be with. So, I couldn't be happier. Good stuff. And and I mentioned Tiger Muay Thai before. When you were there, did you ever get to train with Piotr Jan or Valentina Shoshenko, any of those fighters that were down there? Yeah, um, we did. We trained sort of Peter Yam was with us more so than Valentina. She sort of has her own thing going and pulls partners and trains with them. So I never trained with Valentina, but yeah, Peter Yan. But we got some like really good people on the mats there as well. Obviously, there's Khalil. A lot of boys from Australia and New Zealand come through there that are with the UFC as well. So uh, and then I've got Loma Lukbimi who was 
pretty much my main training partner whilst I was there and you can't get much better stand up female wise than her so yeah I mean Tiger Muay Thai is another one of those places that just everyone on the mat is so good and it just elevates your your level so fast and, and how crazy is it that Piotr's dealing with the same thing as you he's actually training an American top team if I'm not mistaken so both of you are in the states right now right yeah so Thailand's been pretty strict uh they've got a really low uh cases i think their count of cases is very low but that means that they've closed the the country pretty much for everyone you can get back in it's just very expensive very hard and you have to spend two weeks in quarantine which during a fight camp is not the most ideal situation so yeah i'm looking forward to being able to get back and i'm sure he is too uh but unfortunately this is just the world that we're living in right now and if you want to fight Thailand's not really the place to be. Exactly. And then, you know, at least you're in, in Vegas where you get the PI, like you were saying, you get free meals. I mean, you can't beat that, right? I heard the cafeteria is great at the PI. Yeah, the PI's been great. Um, they do a whole lot of testing. They give you all your food, do strength and conditioning. They've got a whole room for you, you know, for your workouts. You can take your training partners and your coaches in there and the recovery side of things as well. They pretty much take care of everything. So, yeah, I mean, as a fighter, if you don't live in Vegas, like, it's crazy, especially if you're with the UFC. Was there anything when you did your testing that you found out from the test of the PI that maybe you didn't know? Maybe it was something in your diet or something you were doing in training? Did you learn anything from, you know, doing all the testing? Um, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm learning because I still don't really understand what they're saying. But <laughs> right, okay. I, I see the differences in my body and everything that they've been uh you know, bringing along my diet and doing all the metabolic testing and everything like that. So, yeah, they've got it down to like a science. I sort of don't even pay attention to what's happening. I just eat what they tell me when they tell me and do what they tell me. And uh, it's been working out pretty well for me. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? So I've got my dad. He's oh awesome. In, he's in my corner every time that I fight. He's an ex-fighter himself. And then I've got uh, Eddie Baracco and then my my boyfriend as well will be in my corner. Fantastic. And how's this fight playing out in the 20th? You feel like you're going to win. Otherwise, why sign the contract? But how do you envision the fight playing out? Yeah, I think that it's going to be a good fight. I think that most of it will happen on the feet. Uh, if I want to take it to the ground, I'm sure that that can happen quite easily too. I see a lot of holes in her wrestling. Um, but yeah, I envision myself getting a TKO finish in the second round. I imagine the plan here is to try and keep active just because now you're in the UFC and you know, you're know you in Vegas, so I'm sure it's a little bit easier because it looks like they're going to one of two places for the foreseeable future, Vegas and Abu Dhabi, right? So I'm sure you want to get in there as soon as possible after this fight. Yeah, I mean, provided that this fight goes how I'm thinking it goes, I'd love to get back in there in March. A lot of the Australian and New Zealand boys are on in March. It's sort of like the Anzac takeover month. So I'd like to back it up and get straight back on there, maybe on uh, the Volkanovski card. Uh, okay. that... Nice. I like the way you're thinking. And uh, my last question, what does downtime look like? Uh, I know that obviously you're training a lot, you know, you're putting in the time. Are you, you watching any Netflix or anything like that? Like what would I find you doing when you're not in training? Yeah, um, I love Netflix. So watching a lot of Netflix, I watch a lot of fights as well. So just sort of hanging out and watching TV or going on hikes. That's pretty much my, my two down times or sleeping. I sleep a lot as well. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Same here. Naps are key. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Especially for any, for, for fighters, I would imagine you need that, that rest and recovery. Um, I was going to mention about, um, you know, watching fights. I think the UFC should give you guys like a free fight, fight pass subscription. Like, I don't know why they would make you charge that. Cause like, it's like you're working for the company. They should give you like a discount or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe one day hopefully they yeah. see they seem to give us everything else so i can't complain too much about good, it. good point and then um <laughs> sorry you mentioned netflix uh how has it been watching netflix in the u.s because i know the selection's different than it would be say you know elsewhere like in thailand or wherever right yeah it's different i mean i think it's i think it's actually like better over here because there's more more things to watch but it's all also still hard because covid and there's not new stuff coming out i guess so yeah i mean i wish they put harry potter on netflix that would really help yeah they got to do something about that i don't know it's like a rights issue I, i'm sure someone else has it tied up or something i'm not sure but uh yeah we'll we'll see keeping tabs on that we gotta be keeping tabs on this fight it's coming up here february 20th ufc fight night casey thanks so much for doing this if you got any sponsors or social media you want to plug i'll give you the last word 
Yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram at KingKCMMA and you'll see all my sponsors on there. And yeah, thank you.